for their lives. Amen. Well, that's good news right there when you can do that. Yes. When you can live inside the plan, that's good news. Why? Because you know that God is directing you, yes. guiding you. Yes. Nothing can go wrong if you just read the scripture. The scripture says that I got a plan for your life. Yes. And in my plan, I'm not going to do you any harm. Yes. So when you're walking inside God's plan for your life, you can't get much better than that. Amen. Each of us can rest on the fact that, that if you're living in God's plan for your life, you don't have to worry about anything. Amen. You may have some concerns in this life. But when you're working, when you're walking in God's plan, when you're moving the way God would have you to move, yeah. or you don't have a thing to worry about, yeah. God's going to see you through. Yeah. God's going to get you through this situation. Yeah. No matter how bleak it may seem. And I want, I, want to, I want to say bleak because sometimes our situation can be dark and dismal. Yeah. Our situation can be hurtful to us. Our situation may seem like it's holding us down and may seem like it's got us down, but what we've got to understand on this day is that if we just hold on to what God has said, just realize what God has already told us, that he's got a plan for our life, and it does not meant to do us any harm, and he'll get you through this situation, get you through this circumstance in this life, so that everything's going to be all right. We can rest in the fact we don't have to worry. Then if, if you're living inside of God's land, there's some blessings that's going to come. Yeah. There's, some blessings, there's some blessings that's going to come in the form of privileges. Yeah. Hey, let me see if I can help somebody. God gives us privileges that are blessings. What are you talking about, preacher? I'm talking about something simple. I'm talking about something like prayer. Prayer is a privilege and a blessing. Yeah. Why is that? Because that's your time. That's your time. That's your worship time. That's your personal worship time where you can go to God Amen. and acknowledge who He really is Amen. in your life. Acknowledge everything that He's done for you. Yeah. That's a privilege that God gives you. Yeah. That's a blessing that, that God gives you. And, and simple as prayer. God gives us the, the opportunity to confess our sins yeah. individually. Yes, it's okay when, when the preacher says, God, forgive them, Lord, but God allows you to come to Him. And confess your sins to him. Tell him what you've done. Ask for forgiveness. That's a privilege and a blessing at the same time. This is the thing that God gives us. He can take, we, can, look, we can take them with us each and every day. Confess to God. Then we can look. What does prayer give us the opportunity to do? See, every now and then, you just got to pray and just say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. That's your personal time. That's the privilege that God has given you so that you can come to Him and just say, Thank you, Father, for what you've done. Thank you, God, for what you're doing in my life. Thank you, God, for getting you through that situation. Thank you, God, for my children. And thank you, God, for my husband and for my wife, Lord. That's the opportunity. That's an opportunity. That's a privilege. That's a blessing that God gives us in His plan for our life. And then on top of it, on top of it, within within our prayer time, He says, "Okay, this is this is the time that you have your personal time to, to make your supplication. Tell Him what your concerns are. Tell Him what you stand in need of. Yes, God already knows, but that's your time to voice it. This is your personal worship time with God." You can say, Lord, you, you know the rent's not paid yet. And I need some help right now. And Lord, you know, you know my children ain't acting right, so I need you to work for them, Lord. And, and you know my mother's sick over here, God, so I need you to heal her, Father. God gives you the privilege to come to Him and make your supplications to Him. Privileges. Privileges are blessings that God gives us. He does not have to do it. But he allows you to do it. And then he allows you to do it any time you want during the day. As long as you got breath in your body, you can come to him and you can speak to him and tell him what you want. Tell him what you need. Thank him for everything that he's done for you. This is the time, this is the time that God gives us that we can spend with him. This is personal time. This is your time. You can take it anytime, any, anytime you want. During your day. Yeah. Personal time with God. Yeah. You don't get much better than, than personal time. Yeah. Why is that? Because that's the time that God gives you to draw nearer to Him. Yeah. If you want to get close to God, just pray. Yeah. If you want to feel like you're close
close to God, just pray. If you want God to know everything that's on your mind, just pray. That's all you need to do. And that's the privilege that God gives us. That's the time that, that God gives us. We gather here tonight in the name of our Creator, in the name of the Creator of heaven and earth. This is watch night. This is the night when, 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 if we look at the history of, of, our, of our people, this is one of the last pieces of history that we have from the times when we were slaves. Watch night. A lot of people don't realize that. Watch night began in January 1st, 1863. Those of you history buffs would know that that's the date that President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. That's the day, that's the night that Watch Night began. What are you talking about, preacher? Why? Because all the slaves knew it was coming. And they were all in church that night, watching and waiting. For January 1st, 1863. That's how Watch Night began. It began because of how it began when we were slaves. Understanding that, that that executive order didn't actually abolish slavery. Slavery wasn't abolished.